all rise. Court is now in session. Judge Isabella Penrose is now presiding. Calvin Wong, as is your right. You have been granted a student-led tribunal. The charge? Hacking school websites to manipulate data for your own benefit. If you are proven guilty for this charge, you will be expelled from South Island School. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Very well. Prosecution, your opening statements. South Island School, making a difference. A safe environment in which to learn. A school with clear cyber safety rules. Calvin Wong is well aware of the responsible use policy, but simply selected to ignore these rules. I can no longer trust Calvin as a member of the school community. I call upon defense to make his opening statements. Your Honor, the evidence surrounding my client lacks credibility. There is no proof that Calvin Wong was responsible for hacking into school data. Rather, he has been unjustly labeled for a crime that he did not commit. Very well, Jurors. Let me remind you that you must decide beyond any reasonable doubt whether the defendant is guilty of the charges brought against him. Are you ready to proceed? The jury is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution, call your first witness. Prosecution, call Sarah Roberts. Sarah, can you please tell the court your involvement with Calvin Wong on the 23rd of September 2019? I came into my tutor room to dump my bag, and he was in there, alone. Indeed? What was he doing? Alone. He was on his laptop. Is this usual for Calvin? Yes. He's always on it, or his mobile phone. Can you state what time you entered the room? Must have been between 12.35pm and 12.40pm. Yes, because I had PE earlier that day, period two. Was there anything in Calvin's behavior that was suspicious? Yes. What are you so happy about? None of your business. Can we presume that Calvin was happy because he had just successfully hacked into the school server? Motion to strike. Your Honor, this is circumstantial evidence only. Sustained. Please strike that from the court record. Jury, please disregard. Amend your line of questioning, please. I apologize, Your Honor. Why do you think Calvin was so defensive? He clearly didn't want me to see what he was doing. Thank you, Your Honor. No further questions. Defense, do you wish to cross-examine the witness? No further questions, Your Honor. Prosecution, you may now call your second witness. The prosecution calls witness two to the stand. Can you state your name for the court? Tabitha Johnson. Can you explain where you were on September 23rd, 1250 p.m.? Well, I was in the atrium with my friends, and then I went back to my tutor during lunch. When you reached D84, was Calvin in the room? Yes, he seemed happy. He was downloading something I could see over his shoulder. No further questions, Your Honor. Your opportunity for cross-examination defense. For the benefit of the court, this is a photo of Tabitha Johnson, taken from her Instagram account. The photo was taken on the 23rd of September. Tabitha, can you confirm that you're severely short-sighted? Um, yeah? In this photo, are you wearing your glasses? Oh, that's better. I know, right? What are you doing? Nothing. Please answer for the court. No. Does this not demonstrate that the individual downloading content in your tutor room could have been any student? I think it was Calvin. You think? No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, your first witness, please. Defense calls our first witness to the stand. State your name for the record. Ryan Tsang. How do you know the defendant, Calvin Wong? Well, we're both in the same tutor group and we both like coding. Can you explain exactly what Calvin had done, which brought him praise from his coding club teacher? 
Well, he created some code to help teachers collect data from ISAMs. Uh, it was pretty cool. Was this the first time he has used his skills to help the school? No, he, uh, he had wrote code for the innovation website too. It was some cool JavaScript to make it much more interactive. Bye-bye. I'm not so surprised, man. So do you think that he was responsible for the school hack? No, no I don't. I think he's always been quite caring, and he's always been helpful to me and other kids in the coding club too. Thank you, Ryan. No more questions, Your Honor. Prosecution. Any questions for cross-examination? In my hand, I have evidence of a WhatsApp exchange between yourself and Calvin dated from June 17, 2019. Please note that a copy is being given to the foreperson, and additional copies have been made for the judge and defense to review. Your Honor, this evidence was acquired for submission last week. Your Honor, we only received this evidence earlier today, having asked Mr. Alamo, the network manager, to retrieve this information. Go ahead, but please note proper clerical procedure. Calvin, this school firewall is a joke. Ryan, tell me about it. A primary school kid could breach it. Calvin, you should totally hack it. Ryan, nah, I want a challenge, dude. In my arrogant opinion. Yes, but we're just messing. No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, you may now call the defendant. Defense calls Calvin Wong to the stand. Go, Calvin. Can members of the public please refrain from shouting out? This is not an inter-house event. Calvin, please tell the court where you were on the 23rd of September at 12.50 p.m. Well, gladly. Uh, it is true that I was in the tutor, but I wasn't alone. I was with Ryan. So what were you doing on that day? Well, we'd just been playing CSGO right before English. Uh, I remember because my laptop literally died later that day. <laughs> Plus, we were in a zonal area, so we were, we were being pretty responsible to be honest. Can you explain the accusations made against you by the prosecution? Well, sure. Sarah doesn't like me anyway. She's part of the sp sports clique and she just doesn't like gamers. What about the statement made by Tabitha Johnson? Well, Tabitha needs to get her eyes checked because she definitely needs new glasses. Indeed. No more further questions, Your Honor. I call upon the prosecution for cross-examination. Speaking of zonal tech, I'm guessing you must be a key player in the Digital Leadership Council. Well. No, I have a lot of after-school club activities. I see. You have something of a checkered past at SIS? Not that I know of. Really? 15th of March, 2017. Stint 2 from Mr. Slethog. Calvin was asked repeatedly to stay on task, but was distracted by his laptop. I didn't do nothing. Miss Stringer, 30th of November. Calvin and I discussed the concerns his teachers have for his screen time. I showed Calvin the iOS screen time app so they can better monitor his time spent on apps games, etc. Mrs. Crouch, Stint 3, having met with Calvin's parents to discuss his use of tech. Your Honor, this is a misrepresentation of the Stint system. It stands for staged intervention and is not necessarily a punishment. Sustained. Get to the point, prosecution. I could go on. But this is a student who ignores the rules. Despite the help given by his teachers, the problem has escalated during his time at SIS. Hacking the school system is simply keeping with his attitude to date. No further questions, Your Honor. Summarizing statements, prosecution and the defense. The hack was unable to be traced. Clearly committed by a skilled hacker. Two witnesses and Calvin himself confirmed that he was on his laptop at this time. Only a tiny niche of students could hack the school servers, but the student in question had to be someone with a disregard for authority. Jurors, do you really want someone like this in our school community? Yes. Kelvin Wong was on his laptop on the 23rd of September, but how many other students were doing the same thing at the same time? We cannot rely on the eyewitness accounts of Sarah Roberts or Tabitha Johnson. And what about the points made by Ryan Sang? Calvin may have made some mistakes, but haven't we all? Isn't that how we learn? Jurors, I ask you to remain impartial, seeing a student who has done so much good for the school community. Jurors, I will now allow time for you to deliberate.